All right, so this is basically the basis for adding and subtracting rational expressions. This will be the first step that you will start with is finding the least common denominator. Now for the next couple examples, what I want to do here is just uh, look at how when you are working with these common denominators, how do you change your denominators? Now here the idea is if this is your original expression and you want to change your denominator to look like this, you are starting with 3y, but you want your denominator to be 9y to the square power, how can we change this denominator to that? The idea is, what do we need to multiply 3y into so that it will be 9y squared? Now think about it. If I take this rational expression here, now I know if I multiply 3 into 3, I get 9, okay? And to get the y squared, I need to multiply the y with another y, okay? So if I multiply 3y by 3y, I will end up with 9y squared. Now, I don't want to change the value of my rational expression here. I still want my value to be the same. So if I multiply my denominator by some number, I multiply my numerator also by that same value. So if I multiply denominator by 3y, I multiply the numerator by 3y also. And this will give me 3 fives are 15 t square y over 3 threes are 9 and then y square and this is what we are looking for this is the answer that we were looking for in these uh, examples okay so again this is what you start out with and this is where you want to end what number or what expression do you need to multiply the original denominator by to come up with this given denominator. Let's try and look at another example. We're still trying to do the same thing. You start out with negative 5y over 6y plus 18, and now you want your denominator to be 24y plus 72. So what do you need to multiply 6y plus 18 into to end up with uh, 24y plus 72? Just like we did above, you want to do the same thing here you can multiply 6y plus 18 into 4 and that should give you this new denominator. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Uh, 6 4s are 24. Okay, 24y plus uh, 18 times 4. You can try and verify that and you will see that you end up with 72 as your answer. So all we had to do in this expression was multiply by 4 and your numerator will be negative 20y and denominator will be what we were looking for, 24y plus 72. It's pretty straightforward once you figure out uh, what you're really trying to do here, what your goal is. Let's look at one more example. This one's a little bit different. This time your expression is 4m over m squared minus 8m plus 15 and we want our uh, target denominator to be m minus 5 times m minus 3 times m plus 3 m plus 2 now what they're doing here is in this case they gave us the whole trinomial but on uh, the other side they're breaking it down into its factors so the first thing we will start by doing is rewrite our denominator on the left hand side in its factored form so that we can see which of the factors are missing from the other side. So you have m squared minus 8m plus 15. Again, your leading coefficient is 1, so your two terms here would be just m and m. Now, factors of 15 that will add to give you a negative 8. Um, I believe negative 3 and negative 5 should give you the uh, required answer. When you multiply negative 3 into negative 5, you get a positive 15. When you add negative 3 and negative 5, you get a negative 8. 
Now let's go ahead and see what factors uh, we need. You have m minus 5, m minus 3 from the uh, right hand side. The factor that we are missing is m plus 2. As you can see, there is no m plus 2 on this side. So that tells me I will take my original fraction and multiply my numerator and my denominator by m plus 2. And when you multiply those you will end up with of course your denominator will now be what we were looking for and your numerator will be 4m times m plus 2 or you can try and expand it out and that will give you 4m square plus 8m over m minus 5, m minus 3, and m plus 2. Okay, So you have to break down, uh, in this uh, particular example, you have to start by factoring the original denominator to see what factors we had and which one was missing. Then seeing that you had m minus 5 and m minus 3, we needed m plus 2, so you multiply your numerator and denominator by m plus 2 and you will come up with the new uh, denominator and the new expression 4m squared plus 8m over you know the whole big denominator right again remember these uh, concepts will help us when we discuss adding and subtracting in section 6.4 so this is uh, basically the end of section 6.3